play? Yeah, every uh, every drill was competitive, uh, down to the wire. Defense found a way to win. Win, I think, all of them, and that's uh, something we gotta, you know, start believing more in ourselves offensively and being more certain. And we still uh, there's so many things that uh, that we gotta get cleaned up. And that, you know, our quarterback's head is still swimming a good bit with all the the stuff that's in and when we have routes tagged to, to runs and when we don't and um, caused us to have some negative plays. But as far as the, the competition and the attitude and effort, I was, I was much, much more pleased. How'd there were some good things that happened. I mean, there were some good things offensively and defensively. I wish we could have finished a little better offensively some, but if they had done that, I'd been saying I wish we could have finished defensively better. So, How'd you feel about Randall when he had the ball in his hands today? Well, I think he's a, you know, he's a talented kid. And, uh, you know, that's one thing that I think we've always been able to do in our offense is the kids that can make plays, they, they, they find a way to get them the ball. And, you know, he obviously can do that. We've still got a long way to go with him to have him ready for, for the fall, but um, certainly he had a good day today. He well, looks like team. with Randall and with some other guys that you're having a little more success running on the edge, on the perimeter. Yeah, you know, we're struggling inside right now. I think our inside guys defensively are they're better than our inside guys offensively right now. Uh, most of the time, I think we've gotten better. The first period, we actually hit them with some inside runs, and uh, but uh, we certainly didn't do that consistently all day long. But you know, the edge, we did have some better success there. For most of the kids that missed Tuesday back today, yeah, I think yeah. Uh, everyone except for uh, uh, Brazel and uh, Rivers, I believe, are only two. AJ, he got class. No, oh, yeah, this may be his class day. I it wasn't academically right. trouble. Right? How's your ride, Grant? Shoulder? Yeah, we've, uh, we've we've got a bad deal there. He's gonna have to have surgery, so it's another uh, another uh, another negative deal that we'll have to deal with. But we'll deal with it. And what kind of surgery? It's a label issue. We just, we just got the MRI today, and he's been battling through it. But it's probably best to go on and get it fixed. Hopefully, he'll, get, he'll be back. Can you kind of compare to where this offense is in terms of picking things up to where it was at this point at like Arkansas State? And, you know, My first year there? Yeah. Uh, um, um, probably uh, not as far along. But we had some uh, really, you know, had a couple kids in key spots that were, were very mature and, and uh, picked it up a little faster probably. But... That's, that's a long time ago. It's kind of, and, and you know, it's hard for me to get past last year's experience to compare it. So it's, uh, I, I do remember thinking after my first spring there, oh my gosh, we're going to be forever getting this thing to the tempo we want. And uh, you know, I thought the first period today was was our tempo period for the day, and it uh, the first group that first series was really nice. Uh, we, we just don't sustain it for any length of time, which uh, that's going to be a process. Has Tobias found a home in your mind? Um, I think it's still a little early to tell. Um, obviously, if we stay, uh, it, some of that will depend on how those kids that are coming in in the fall respond to everything. Because, but we're just so thin there. You know, he, he's got right now. That's where he's got to be. Hugh, when you talk about developing depth at receiver, what have you seen in Terrell Grant? Um, I thought he had a good day today, um, and he had a little. He had a, a, an ankle injury and pushed through it. I was proud to see that and uh, thought he made some plays for us. So I mean, he's going to have to play in, in this deal. I mean, you know, the, the number of plays we try to get, he's going to have to play. And I think he's come on a little bit. And, and the thing about Terrell, I think he's starting to decide he wants to be better, uh, which is half the battle. There's some particular things you're looking for on Saturday in the scrimmage? Yep. Offensively to stay on schedule and take care of the ball. Defensively to keep doing what they're doing and play with great passion and, and, and attitude and effort and take the ball. But offensively, we, we still don't quite uh, grasp. I mean, there's a perfect example there. You know, we had like a third and one, and I call it an intentional thing that I knew we would have to uh, adjust a little. And, and to do that, you better know it's third and one. We had no clue you know, it was third and one. You know, those are the things that drive me crazy. You don't keep you on schedule. It's the difference in the first down and having to punt. So we'll keep preaching, take care of the ball, and stay on schedule. I wish I could add in their tempo, but I'm just not sure how long we could sustain that uh, for periods of time just now. How do you feel about the 
quarterbacks and how they did today, and what are you looking for one of them to take I, I step ahead? Some consistency, yeah. and then to keep us out of negative plays. We got way too many negative ones. Now, I'm not, you know, right now don't don't particularly judge them on who makes the great ones. Just uh, can we just function and, and not make negative ones? And some of them that was not all them today because again we had some. There were times where you know we had runs called and we should have had a route on the outside and they were giving it to us and our quarterbacks were taught to take that and, and we weren't on the same page with the, with the receivers. So um, didn't install anything real new today other than a couple formations. So uh, hopefully uh, the last four we can uh, you know, fine tune some of the stuff we're doing. Um, you mentioned the inside defense having the edge. Yeah. Uh, Emmanuel McCray at left tackle. How, how, how do you feel about him, and is that a permanent he, spot for him? You yeah, think? I think so. He's had one of the more consistent springs for us up front, and uh, I think he wants to do well, and, and he buys into the little things we ask our team to do. And uh, You know, he, he's health-wise, if he can stay healthy, I think he'll be a kid that really we count on. You talked a lot about Dante Moncrief this spring. Yeah. What, what makes him a special? Yeah, I just love the way he competes for balls. You know, even those deep balls where – he was covered pretty well. The, the last one, you know, I mean, he competes for him. The one before that, I thought he was going to make a circus catch, a great catch, but he just competes for it. He's a big, strong, physical kid that can run. So, you know, he's got all the intangibles, and, uh, you know, he, he's going to be somebody that really excels in this.